What's going on everybody? Glad to have you back again today. I have a special treat for you today. Uh, as you may have seen in the title, we're going to be talking about prop wash and how to avoid it. That's right, I said avoid it. We're not going to ever totally get rid of prop wash and part of that's going to come down to really understanding what's going on with the quad when it starts to oscillate as you descend into your own prop wash. So let's just dive right in and start talking about what's going on and, uh, and some of the ways that I'm going to show you today how to minimize the effects of prop wash so that you can uh, fly and uh, get good footage without those oscillations. So what's going on when the quad oscillates in the descent is essentially you have a column of air that is coming down below the quad that is disturbed by the thrust generated from your propellers. Now, if you're coming out of a dive and you wanna arrest that dive, if you come down and just level off like this, the quad is gonna sink into that column of disturbed air. And what's going on is like this motor at one second might have air coming down and then it might pop out of the air that's coming down and the flight controller Basically because the air is moving in different directions in different locations as the motors go through Areas of air that are moving in that different direction or that different speed Oh Lord, we got quads ripping around. We got John pulling up ruining my uh, Ruining my tutorial There he is. All right, so uh, so yeah, that's going to be the problem is that uh, that disturbed air by its very nature is very turbulent and, um, and it's going to vary the amount of thrust that each motor is producing for a given RPM, which makes the flight controller do a ton more work to try to stop those oscillations. <laughs> are, you, are you YouTube? Who is this? Are you one of those YouTubers? I want to like throw a quad at this thing. <laughs> All right, so as I was saying, um, those oscillations are caused by the varying amounts of thrust that are generated for a given RPM in that disturbed column of air. So the best way to avoid getting prop wash oscillations is to avoid descending into that column of disturbed air. So if you're coming out of a dive, like so, camera's looking down, and, um, and you simply level off the quad, you're gonna be descending into that uh, column of disturbed air and you're gonna get those oscillations. So what you wanna do is while you're descending, you begin to add thrust. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna start pulling you forward and generating forward momentum, which then as you increase the pitch, that column of disturbed air is more and more behind you as you accelerate to a more and more forward flight, because when we're in forward flight, that column is always behind us and isn't a problem. So we're gonna create a nice smoothed out curve at the base of that dive in order to avoid that um, that disturbed air so you're gonna also known as good throttle management it's also good throttle management we're gonna ease onto the throttle a little bit at a time and we're gonna ease that pitch up higher and higher and just avoid getting into that um, into that bad air and keep the oscillations at bay all right so let's go do a demonstration Whew. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go fly a pack and I'm gonna demonstrate what it looks like and how I approach it and get into prop wash oscillations. And then I'm gonna do a couple of demonstrations of how to avoid that prop wash oscillation. So here we go. So I just had to change out props because I realized I didn't carry any spare of what I was flying. So I'm just gonna fly around a little bit and make sure that this is behaving how I would expect it to. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, so I'm just gonna do some split S's and some power loops in which I kind of get into my own prop wash and you're gonna see some oscillations. So here we go, power loop over this tree and I waited till the last second to kind of catch it and recover. And you see I'm like, I'm flat when I apply that power. So I want you to listen to when the, prop, when the th throttle increases. See that? It looks nasty. I can probably even tune this so there's a little, not quite as bad, but really the trick in, avoid, in uh, dealing with prop wash isn't necessarily your tune, it's more so uh, how you fly it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the exact same maneuver. I'm gonna do a power loop over this tree, but I'm gonna begin applying a little bit of power during the dive, and then I'm gonna continue increasing that power throughout the recovery underneath the tree so that we have a nice smooth application and we don't descend into our own prop wash. See that? Much, much better. A little bit of... Oh 
Okay. Looks like I might have a little bit of yaw oscillations. Those motors did get beat up in the last few weeks, but that is not prop wash oscillation. I just want to make that clear. That's probably just a, um, a motor being a little bit too unbalanced. Bent shaft sort of situation. So, all right, just a couple more. Now listen to it. I want you to, I'm gonna do two back to back. I'm gonna do one without the, where I don't go into my prop wash, and then one where I do. And I just want you to listen to um, the, the motors. Oscillations. And that one I did not. That pretty much covers the technique that I use to avoid getting um, really bad prop wash. What we're doing is we're just not going to descend into it. We apply the throttle to give us that forward momentum and slowly bring the angle of the uh, of our thrust in line where it's giving us enough lift to go forward. If you just try to wait until the last minute and catch it in a level scenario, you're going to descend into that prop wash and it's not going to look very nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you find it helpful and um, if you did click that like button, give me a subscribe and uh, come back and check out another video tomorrow. I appreciate it and we'll see you next time.